Hello everyone. Today I would like to show how can we connect one backup controller. The controller what I'm using that is a CX2030 controller. I will show two ways. One way I'm going to use automatic IP address. Another way that IP address already set. You can use the the blueprint or the drawings check out the IP address and use the IP address you already known and try to connect the controller. So basically, this is a two typical ways. The first method, usually when you purchase the one back of controller and when you receive the controller, by default, the IP address is the automatic settings inside the back of controller window system. The second way demonstrate if you go to on-site and this controller already set with the IP address, and you can know this IP address from the drawings or ask your customers. So in previous video, I shown how can we connect the window system, this window system built into the backup controller. I showed how can we use the remote desktop connection to remote connect to this window system, or we can plug in the DVI connector with a monitor and plug in the USB mouse and the keyboard. So when you turn on the CX controller, so when the system log in, you can use the administrator and with the password. By default, that's, that is a one. And you can log in into this uh, window system. And when you log in into this system, it shows like this way, showing in the screen. We can go to the network, go to the adapter connection. So the first adapter is set with a fixed IP. That is a 1.2, this IP address. And the second one in this controller, that is a dynamic, or we say IP address automatic get. To record this process, I'm connecting with a fixed IP and use a remote desktop connection to record all this whole process. And also we can see uh, by default, Windows Firewall will turn on inside this uh, window system. So that means first time when you try to connect with this uh, controller, you try to pin the IP address of this controller. However, because the, the, this firewall is turned on, you might not pin successfully with this controller. For example, even if I can use a 192.168.1.2, use the first Ethernet port to connect with this uh, window system inside the CX controller. But however, if I try to pin, I can now use the pin to find this controller. For example, I type in CMD. So we can see it cannot find it because the firewall is turned on inside this controller. So that's why I highly recommend if this is the first time you got a brand new CX controller, you better find a monitor and log in into this window system and set the IP address into this Ethernet adapter. But you know, sometimes you cannot change the IP address by you want. So that's why I'm going to show we will use the two ways. So the first method I'm going to show, uh, I will use the, the IP address automatic way. I will assume the Ethernet cable I'm connecting that port. That port is set with a IP address automatic. Let's basically demonstrate if this is the first time you get a brand new CX controller. So let me show the process of this way. And in my laptop, I'm using one Windows 10 host system and the back of programming system or engineering system that is a virtual machine system. So I'm going to show how to use a virtual machine to connect this uh, controller with the uh, IP address automatically setting. So firstly, we need to go to your host machine, host system, and set the host system, the IP address, to IP address automatically. Don't forget the DNS setting, automatic DNS. 
my virtual machine that is a VM player. Before we set the IP address for this virtual machine Windows system IP address, we also need to check the virtual machine Ethernet adapter setting. So in this test, because my laptop is connecting with a CX2030 controller with a Ethernet cable, so I'm going to switch to or select this Ethernet connection. Select OK, bridge, and go to the network setting. So this adapter, we need to also set to automatic, same way IP address and uh, DNS, both of them set to automatic. So after we set the automatic IP address, if your cable is working properly, so you can find the current IP address is automatic, get it. So that means currently our CX controller and our host system and your virtual machine system, all of them, their IP address are automatic. And from here, in the right corner, we switch to router, edit routers. After you install the TwinCat 3, you will see this icon. We click the Add, and from here, we click the Broadcast Search. We switch to IP address, select the Static, Static. Don't forget, check out this Advanced setting. Click the Search. So this router software scan and find one controller. This virtual machine is connected. We disable this security, and the default password is one. Next step, let's open the TwinKite 3 software. Use a right click and select Run as Administrator. Let's create one new project. Don't forget, we click the TwinKite projects. Okay, we set up this uh, project solution. From this job list, we can see, so by default, that is local. That means your software is not connecting with one actual controller. If you try to connect one online controller, you can select this job list and select the controller you are going to connect. For example, in my case, that is CX, uh, this line this controller. But we can see there's a one lock icon here. That means by some reason that router editor was not setting properly or correctly. So, but it's fine. Uh, I will set it again. So we select. So we can see it's showing the error here. That means the software is not connecting properly with this uh, controller. This is an actual case. Let's troubleshoot or let's reset this. From here, we can select this search Ethernet. So we can see the icon, it shows like a question mark icon. That means the software is not connecting with this controller now. After we connect successfully, we can see the icon is changed. We select this search again. So we can see the current connection and the IP address of this uh, CX controller. And from here, let's click this either router. Once you can connect successfully with this uh, controller, we can see in this list that connected. So once it's shown cross, that means 
your software can connect with this uh, controller. We click the add router and then we can close it. So once we switch back, so we can see the icon become blue. That means use this uh, new setting router, we can find this uh, controller. After you select this uh, controller, it will show active solution platform this. So that because your Windows system, I mean your virtual machine or your host laptop, basically we are those 10, that's a 16-4-bit operating system. But however, uh, usually the CX controller are using that is embedded Windows 7 system inside this uh, CX2030 controller or 5000 or 9000 controller. So inside this controller, that is a runtime system, and also they are x86 system. So which is fine because we are trying to connect one online controller. Once you click the yes, this drop list will switch to x86. We will see the top list will switch. See, it's changed. From this icon, it means the controller is not in a run mode, it's in a configuration mode. Keep in mind this, so the controller is in configuration mode, and we go to the I.O., go to the device, and click this scan. Let the system to scan the, all the terminals and all the modules in the system under the configuration mode. Scan the box. We click the cancel because we won't set up the motion control. So now the system will ask you the active free run. So we click the yes. So currently the system in a free run, the system is still in a configuration mode. And under this mode, we can check out the module status and the module signals. For example, this is an analog card inside this system, and we can change the analog signal. We can see actually the system already connected with this uh, signal channel. This is an input card. We can go to the channel one, and from this online, we can see the signal is changing. That means, so through this way, without programming anything, we can do a I.O. testing, or we can do a channel test. And because we already connect with this controller, so let me set up the PLC project. After you build this solution, so the tag with a percent %i and a q will show up in the list, allows you to connect with the actual input and output card. We build without any error, so this time we go to the input channel, we can see this input tag. Output channel, we can see this output tag. We build again and try to download. So to download our configuration, uh, basically we have uh, three steps. The first step, uh, after the build successfully, we need to download all our hardware configuration. So in the Twinkai 3 system, it called uh, activate configuration. So we hit this uh, activate configuration. So after we download, you need to wait a couple seconds because when you download this uh, hardware configuration, so the CX controller need a couple seconds to restart the system. From here, we haven't downloaded the program yet. We press login. So once you log in, your program will download to the controller. Don't forget press this green run mode. When you hit the run, the system will start run. You can see 
your logic is working. When you log out, when you press this log out, your controller is still working. Your code is still working, it's no, no problem. You just switch to a monitor offline mode. Let's see this. So we only switch to an offline monitor mode, but actually your software is still connecting with this uh, controller. We just finished our method one. So we just finished the method one. We use the IP automatic way to connect with the CX2030 controller. The second method to connect with is a CX2030 controller. So I will use the, the fixed IP, the IP address in this controller that is 192.168.1.2. So to connect with this uh, controller, firstly, I set the, my host system, the IP address that is 192.168.1.199. Let's switch back to our virtual machine. So this time, our IP address in this virtual machine, I will cite one ninety two one Same range. And check the network adapter. It's still the bridged. So let's go to the editor routers. Scan and broadcast the search. And it will search, find the IP address. We can see. Disable this security, make it easier. The connected that shows one small cross that means this router already set up and our Twincast system can connect with this uh, controller. So let's go to the Twincast 3. So from here, this is that project we just set up. So we switch this. Uh, choose target connector system. So we go search. Double check again. So our Twinkle 3 can find this controller with this fixed IP. We click the select this controller. If the system connect correctly, it shows uh, this uh, green icons. So currently, our Twinker 3 can connect with the controller. Next, I will demonstrate one scenario. So for example, you know this IP address of this controller, and you go on site, you know this IP address, you already built up the connection with this uh, controller. And from now, because maybe you don't have the controller project, so the next things you might want to do, that is uh, upload the project, upload the program to do the commissioning or do the troubleshooting. So how can we upload the online controller? In this Twinkai system, it named open a target system. So let me show how to do this. Instead of a New project, we go to open, open solution, open project from target. So from here, we select this small green box. That means we are connecting this controller. Click the OK. Let's connect. Let's rename this project upload PLC. Now our Twinkcast 3 is uploading the project from the controller.
Now this project is a project we just uploaded. So that is a uh, method two. In this video, we shown the two ways to connect this uh, CX2030 controller. That because for this controller, it has uh, two Ethernet uh, adapters, and one adapter is at a fixed IP, another adapter is at a dynamic IP, or we call the IP address automatically. This is a typical two scenario. One scenario is uh, if you bought a one brand new CX controller, that by default, the CX controller that is a uh, automatic IP address. So you could use the, the first way to connect it with this uh, CX controller. And the second way, uh, that means the IP address of this uh, CX controller already be set before. And you can find the IP address from the drawings or blueprint. So you use this IP address, try to connect with this uh, CX controller. Or I also showed how to do a very simple project setting and a very simple project uh, online login. Also, I also showed how to upload the project if you already connect with this uh, CX controller. And don't forget, usually by default, the firewall inside this window system will turn on so that you cannot use a pin to find this uh, controller. And keep in mind, the system what I'm using, that is a virtual machine. So that means uh, we can use the virtual machine to set up the connection and do the connection, commissioning, and the debugging and test. So virtual machine is no problem. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe. See you in next video.